we are going to start taking this apart and also uh i'm gonna make a short video of this and see on how well we could actually accomplish letting people know on how to do this that and that is together strong magnets Do it nice and slow so you don't strip anything, including the, the bit. The longer screws are on the base. There we go. We got the two halves separated. Here is the housing. Oh, that's right. Now to get this done easy, just like that. Just remember the order it is put in. And this is the actual anvil and the hammer. So this is what we need. Now we're not done with this because we got to put the quarter and checks on. So now that we have this out, we could actually just uh, put this aside. And remember, make sure you do not uh, mix up the parts. When it comes to the actual housing for the impact driver, I put this in a drill press and I just drilled out the hole big enough to uh, fit a half inch anvil in there. And I pretty much just uh, would run it on the sides, like rotate it like this. Just so it's because if you don't, if you make this too big, then you won't have a good seal for the oil. It, this isn't sealed, anyways, but the bigger this hole, the more oil or sorry, the grease will come out when it gets warm and it'll just ooze out of the hole. And so you just take this and then you just uh, do the initial drill press, then you just make the hole a little bit wider. Uh, as you then you put do put the anvil in there, do a little test. And so that's what I did. And obviously you see right here, I messed up and this slipped and completely just, uh, it didn't, it's just no longer pretty, but I think there's worse things that could happen. All right, now let's do the four uh, screws in the front. Let's see what I got for that. And I do thank you all for joining the stream. When it comes to M12F subway, there is like a, a metal like a uh, pin right here, uh, not pin, but there's like a little latch right here that just needs to be pushed. Let's put that up a little bit. And push forward, perfect. I have to go into back into the detent. And that is the motor for the impact wrench. And like I said, like this, the Milwaukee's motors are fantastic. Look how small those motors are. Let's take this out. And as you can see, like these, like Milwaukee did a really good job with making their motors small and very powerful. And the same thing with this. They got the housing there. There we go. Come on, I got it's out. Come on, just stay out. Stay out. Now let's see if I could just get that underneath there. Got it. Now remember there's two, there's a, no, this is not the fixed version. There's one ball bearing in here that you do not want uh, lost. There we go. Just like that. Now carefully take that out. Take this anvil hammer out. As you can see, this one is different than the impact driver. You gotta wait to see. Gotta carefully take that out. Rolling. There we go, got it. Got that. 
and get the washer. Now, there we go. The ball bearing is still in there. Success. Yeah, assembled again. I forgot about that. I remember you got to make sure that this is good and we're good on that. Then this. Now there are teeth on it. There are teeth on here that you got to line up based than the other. But then after you get that on, there we go. Got it. Now that is perfectly on there. So let's put the housing, the anvil housing back in. When it comes to this, you just gotta make sure the stuff is aligned. And then when you come, uh, we could put that, now that's for that. Just make sure that the speed control, the reverse, and the light are good and flush. And so this is flush and this is ready to be screwed back in. So let's put a couple of screws in. A little bit more on that one. Remember you don't want to, this is screwing into plastic so you don't want to over tighten these at all. There we go. All right, now let's put the... Now also when it comes to this, see as you can see, it's not in all the way. So all you gotta do to get that in, rotate that. There we go. Then it's in there perfectly. All right, there we go. I got my half inch stubby back. Let's put a battery in. Let's make sure it actually, you know, is working. At speed three, speed one, speed two, then auto. Man, I got my half inch W. I missed this. I did miss this anvil on the on this tool. Like that M12 stubby is a is an amazing tool. And then put the hammer on. And the same thing with the, the teeth. You gotta line those up. All right, so that is in there properly. Unlike the impact uh wrench, this one actually has uh an angle on this plastic uh cover. That needs to, because so this is so a screw could pass through, and this needs to align with this uh, uh, this indent right here, because it uh, this uh, the screw that's supposed to go there won't go through if it's if it's not. That, okay, we'll see. I think this one you need to adjust that. Let's press down. There we go, it went in, good. It is lined up correctly, excellent. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but you just gotta make sure that those line up. As it says, since the housing is good to go, let's uh, put this back together. First thing that goes back in is the O-ring. Sorry, the washer because that goes in, this goes on, then the spring, then the washer, then the lock, then you are good. Now, now it's good. Got it, perfect. All right, let's see if the, yep, that works, perfect. Call it works. How it works. All right, let's put this back in. Just make sure everything's aligned. I didn't take anything out, didn't need to, but this one's different, so we gotta make sure that the speed selector is aligned as well. So everything fits. There we go, the light is aligned, the trigger's aligned. There we go, seams are looking good. Seam looks good. Let's put the screws back in. 
Got it. Now let's put the back on. And the same thing. So as you can see, it's not going to go in anymore. So make sure it's aligned. Then you just twist the... Oh, for this, you got to put a bit in. Just like that. It needs a little bit more. There we go. Got it. No clue why I put that on there. There we go. I just wanted to do this video, you guys, to do the anvil swap. And as, uh, if you're watching, I'm going to say some stuff for in case that people are watching in the future. If you guys wanted to do these two and uh, you could use this video uh, to do this in reverse. The only thing I didn't show you is putting the impact driver housing into a uh, drill press to properly make this hole a little bit bigger. And so instead of going to bigger sized drill bits on the... Uh, drill press i just uh, sort of would rotate this and make the opening bigger until i got the anvil to fit in there so it's not too wide uh for the half inch anvils just so it has some sort of a structure around the anvil while it's inside the housing done but i hope you guys found this video helpful and entertaining i'm, I'm not going to do that during my live streams and i i seriously thank all of you guys for uh tuning in and uh, joining my stream I hope you guys were entertained and more streams are coming, more videos are coming. And so, yeah, I thank you guys so much for joining in.